I'm Carmen McGill. I am the co-founder and chairperson of uh, Celebrating the African Spirit, a relatively new organization that started a little over two years ago. Our purpose is to unearth all of the, uh, as much as we can, of all of the uh, um, uh, enslaved Africans of Poughkeepsie. Market Street is named Market Street because that is where the slaves were bought and sold. It was a slave, where the slave market was, yes. And uh, so we're looking around for African burial grounds. We're doing research on the people who worked during that day who built the original courthouse. And in the process of doing that, there are these little tributaries of other things that we unearth, such as Frederick Douglass's speech in 1858. So uh, we thought that it would be a wonderful idea and bring some positive energy to Poughkeepsie to, uh, have, this, to have this event. Uh, it was on August the 2nd of 1858 that he did this speech to about 4,000 people here on College Hill. So we want to uh, replicate uh, uh, this. We were f very fortunate to get Paul Oakley Stovall to uh, be able to in, uh, reenact some of the uh, some of the words of uh, Frederick Douglass. Um, he is a student of Frederick Douglass, and he is also a, a professional Broadway actor, and is in the traveling uh, uh, the traveling version of Hamilton. We are here too to bless the memory of the noble men through whose wise, unwearied, and disinterested labors this grand result wrought out, and to hold up their pure and generous example for admiration and imitation throughout the world. But above all, our profoundest wish, our intensest desire, our chiefest aim, is to make this ever memorable day in some small measure the means of awakening a deeper interest in the cause of the fettered millions in our own land. Okay. Only a few weeks ago, the American people were placed in a most disgraceful and revolting position. We were made the patrons of pirates, the protectors of the vilest band of robbers and murderers which sea ever floated. I mean the slave traders of the year of our Lord, 1858. Our government virtually gave notice, not merely to slave traders, but to all manner of sea pirates, that the American flag is broad enough to cover them all, and that the American arm is strong enough to defend them all. Mr. Buchanan virtually gave notice to all the Spanish, American, and Portuguese stealers of men that they have only to run up the stars and stripes when pursued by an honest man of war to be safe from pursuit. Our opposition to the right of visit is that England is an anti-slavery nation, while we are a slave-holding and slave-trading nation. 